Alright y'all, in this video, I'm going to show y'all real quick the best settings for DaVinci Resolve 17. I made a video a year ago, as you guys see right here, on 16. Uh, a lot of you guys, for, uh, it's actually been a year and a half, a lot of you guys have been asking me to make another video. Here I am. And once again, I say, if you want your quality to go from, like, let's say you upload it to YouTube, and your quality looks like this, like pixelated. It's kind of buffering a little bit. It's... 1080 1080p and you want to get it to 4k or you can even run it at 1080 but just to get rid of the buffering and you want it just to look like this no buffering and just clean clips like how it looks when you clip it on your PC uh, be sure to watch the video today because in this video I'm gonna go real quick real simple like I said if you guys are on 16 this year ago video I made is still on 16 DaVinci Roll 16 in this video today I made some of the settings are similar but I highly suggest you go back and watch this I have the link in the description but uh, into the video alright I'm gonna load up uh, DaVinci Resolve 17 and show y'all real quick like I said this is a 17 it's only a little bit in it's a little different in settings I guess you could say I'm gonna delete this project so uh, I'm gonna load into my project and then just show the settings raw footage don't worry about all the extra shit you see in the background. These are like funny moments and shit that I edit down here in clips. Alright, so first thing you want to do is go down to bottom right. Click on the settings icon right here. And you want to copy these exact settings I have. Presets, this is when you come back so you can have this saved for any other project you make. And you can just import these settings. So basically, you want to have 60 FPS. Obviously, make this scroll all the way down make it 3840 times 2160 ultra hd make sure you make it that and uh playback rate make sure it's on 60 copy all of this bro all of these settings pause the video just make sure you copy them these are very important all right as you guys see have these sharper make sure to have stretch frame to all corners is very important color management you don't gotta edit that but if you guys want to copy all this it's up to you I have on default settings all of this alright make sure you have this on video capture playback make sure you have this on the, the highest setting possible UHD 2160p by 60 FPS make sure to have that copy all of these settings these are really all default, so I'm only explaining the ones that I actually changed. But if you have anything different, make sure to look back at that. Alright, now let's say you got the montage edited. This is where a lot of people mess up. Make sure in the top right you have this clicked. Ultra HD. Make sure you have this clicked. Now the only reason you wouldn't have these clicked, this clicked, which you see a lot of, I guess you could say like Fortnite montage, a lot of Fortnite pros, they do have on... Ultra HD 1920 by 1080 you could have this on depending on how your clips are clipped and what resolution you run it at that would determine that if you run your clips obviously at 4k aka 2160 you want to put on Ultra HD if you run your clips at let's say let me go to the settings <coughs> I run on GeForce this is just an example real quick so let's say you run your settings on uh, like 1440p or 1080 1080p 1080p you obviously want to run 1920 by 1080 but if you run 1440p HD I've ran that for a little bit you definitely want to run 4k quality so you definitely want to make sure you have an ultra HD just match it with whatever you see so if you obviously run that you would match it with this if you run 1440 1080 you already know I explained you definitely don't want to have the two qualities different because it will fuck up the way the video looks so you definitely want to get this right these other two are just for like if you're uploading the like shorts to YouTube for this one but uh, after you have that settled because I'm going over the basics so you guys don't ask me questions in the comments which I know there'll still be questions and I'll gladly answer them but a lot of the questions I'm recapping real quick because a lot of people ask questions about this in my last video like it was 
I don't even know how many comments, but a year ago, a year and a half ago, and there's so many questions. And there's so many questions I literally couldn't even keep up, so I'm just answering the questions over again. And the last thing, after you got your whole montage edited, you got all of that stuff set, and before you guys even ask, oh, you you couldn't change these settings in here, the only thing you will have to do, if you could not change these settings in here, you have to do this. Click File, click New Timeline, and then click Use, Uncheck Use Project Settings, and if your shit's fucked up in here, you have to rechange it. But it should be right here, as you can see. 60F, everything should be stretch frame to all corners. Everything should be set as if it was in the bottom right settings. They should all be matching your bottom right side. If these are not matching, you can copy it right here on the screen. Obviously, like I said, if you're running 1080p clips, make sure you click this. Make sure you have this on no matter what. Uh, and stretch frame to all corners. If you're on stretch res like me in game, make sure you have that on. Make sure you have on 60 FPS. This is very important. And uh, that's only if you made a new project and then this, you still can't edit the settings. You have to click new timeline and then. But uh, most of you guys, if you guys couldn't edit the settings, uncheck this and then copy these settings. It's that simple. All right, now on to the best part. Oh, one one more thing. After you make the new project, after you make the new timeline, let me create the new timeline. Let's say you make the two new timeline. The new, new timeline is now at 60 FPS, right? Like it's now at 60 FPS. You, you see the settings. It's all actually good now. You're not on the old default settings, which you probably were. And you're wondering why you couldn't do that. Go back to whatever, whatever uh, timeline that you had up here. The original timeline that you edited all the clips in, the montage. I suggest going to edit, stretching this out. Let's say you have like a bunch of fucking edits across the screen, like all green. Let me try to find one for name montage. I'm trying to find somewhere where I actually have a bunch of clips. All right, yeah. So, so this is an example. It, let go to the edit tab. Highlight the whole, like go all the way down. Highlight everything make sure you highlight everything so you don't miss anything you have to go to the edit tab because in this tab it doesn't really show everything depending on how hard you edited your montage like i see a lot of people they be having like fucking you see how it says audio 3 audio 4 video 2 they be having like video 10 audio 10 up and down highlight it all obviously right click after you do it then click copy or control c and then go to your new timeline and then click control v and then when you control V, like you paste it obviously inside the new timeline, everything will be rescaled and inputted. And yeah, make sure you check this again. Make sure it's on your right quality. And then the last step, finally after that, because I know you guys are going to ask questions on that. I know you guys are going to ask questions. You can change the settings. You couldn't do that. You couldn't do that. I got you. Now the last settings that you need, which a lot of people mess up on, and I went over this a year and a half ago you don't want to upload directly to any of these none of these none of these none of these none of these you notice how most of them say 1080p or whatever I think that's just mad. yeah they just say 1080p or whatever quality it even says you never want to upload to any of these audio only obviously if you're just uploading audio yeah you want to use that one but any of these no none of these the only thing you want to use is custom custom is the best setting for all of this Alright, make sure you guys uh, copy these settings because these are the best settings for all of this section. Like once again, I say, and a lot of you guys are going to ask questions, why do you use custom? Basically, you use custom because custom puts it in the best quality. Like you have more, uh, like you can edit it more. Like all of these are just like, you know what I'm saying? Where's the bit rate? You can't edit the bit rate of the video. They're like exact everything you want so basically these are the best settings just copy one by one as I go so first you want to make sure you have ultra HD 60 FPS makes sure you have automatic best that's that simple take it off for strict encoding profile makes sure you have this at high keyframes makes sure you have this at 120 you have to click it left click 
on it and then drag all the way to the right have it at 120 once again i say this difference draw is 17 so if you don't see that it'll probably say 60 on 60 on the on 16 and we'll say 60 on uh division draw 16 but it's 17 uh make sure you have uh data levels on full these are all settings i use in my montages this is all my preference if you want them to look the way my montages do i guess which like i said i have no buffering or anything Make sure you have force sizing highest quality and player highest quality right here. Make sure you have these checked. All the rest, that's literally all the settings you need. That's it. And on to the next step. And then after you're done, choose where you want to put the video. I put usually put it inside my video section. And I click save. Obviously, I'm not about to save it. But put it inside save. And then add to render queue render all and after you have your video is fully rendered out it's done this is what you want to do when you upload to youtube you go to the create tab you click upload the video you click select files and then this is where you click your video and you upload it directly to youtube and i hear a lot of you guys say in the comment section oh why when i upload my video is it does it look bad you have to let the video render out. If you're uploading a 4K video, it usually takes like about an hour or 30 minutes depending on your connection. This is to render out. Uploading it depending on your Wi-Fi may take like an hour or two depending on how long your video is at 4K. Which is why a lot of people do do 1080p, but that's up to you. It's totally your preference. But I get a lot of questions on that. When you upload it, why does it look bad? You have to let it render out. If you don't let it render out it's going to look bad when you first upload it. A lot of YouTubers, once they upload it, they just insta upload it, which is up to them. That's their preference. But you have to let it render out and process. It will literally say processing. It will literally say processing. Like, look at this. Look. <laughs> caught it Caught it as it was happening. I'm uploading a video right now as I'm recording this. Processing HD version. So it's not fully at 4K yet. This video right here. It's not fully at 4K yet. It has to fully render out, which is probably going to take a few more minutes. And then once it doesn't even say this anymore, like these uploads right here, that's when you know it's fully 4K is done. And you can literally click on it. Click details. And then click on view on YouTube. And then go to it and then click the settings. And then, you know what I mean? Let me do it for example real quick. All right, as you can see, it's what's up, guys? It's Quandale Dingle here. <laughs> I have been arrested for multiple crimes, <laughs> including. Got hit by my own ad. All right, as you guys see, look, max quality is 1080p HD, but I recorded it in 4K. But the actual max quality is 4K. It's just processing HD version. Pretty fucking self-explanatory. And uh, if you guys have any more questions, because I went over literally everything. Like literally, this is like the best video. Like for this shit that I uh, like this is literally everything every question is answered in this video I try to put timestamps do the little fucking fancy shit where you could drag like the mouse through it and like it shows the highlight each section I try to help y'all out but if you have any more questions just go to my twitch hit me up on twitch cuz I stream over there like every single fucking day as much as I can whenever I'm on the game I stream whatever I'm doing unless it's like something serious. I gotta play it off stream. Fucking Fortnite tournament. Which I most likely don't do. Because I don't call for that shit anyway. But that's up to y'all. Hit me up over there. Uh, if you have any questions on this. Or you need any help. I help a lot of people out on my Twitch. In a bunch of different games. I play a bunch of different games. But if you just need help. Hit me up over there. And drop a comment if you need help. To let me know who you are. I might just answer it through text. Do the, do the text. I don't, wouldn't even need to hit you up if it's something basic. But let me know. And that's the end of the video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe. That's all I ask. It's free. And I put these videos together just to help y'all out. It's that simple. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy it, man. Peace out.